this video we are going to create a parking lot and we're going to use this sample drawing that we have here so these are 2d objects so we want to automate this process of creating a parking so first we'll start by grading this site and then we can create our parking lot so we'll grade the site so that water flows away from this building this is a building here so water flows away from the building and, and moves towards these hedges and then we'll turn off this parking to see how we can create our own kind of parking okay we start by creating a feature line out of this object so i select this object and then i create a feature line so i click here on feature line and i go to create feature lines from objects once i get there i see a site a site uh, which is automatically selected for me i'm okay with that and then down here that is the default style i'm okay with that style i don't want to erase the existing entities and therefore i'll just click okay i don't want to erase and then i i want to assign elevations so i click okay i want to assign the elevation 75 so i'm okay i'm assuming this this layout is somewhere in the coast so the elevation above sea level at 75 is quite near the coast so i'm okay with that so i click okay and there you go you have a, a feature line and from this feature line is where we are going to grade away from this feature line so that we have a surface here that is flowing water away from the building okay so i want to do a grading so i click here on grading and i go to grading creation tools and from the grading creation tools i start from the left here by creating a grading group and then i want to automatically create a surface and this surface will have this style and then i click ok so that surface will be named grading uh, group one so i'm okay with that or you can call it drainage you can rename it drainage from house and you click ok then now i want to create the grading so i come here i click on create grading and then i'm prompted to select the features so i select this feature line and then i am prompted to select the grading side the outer side and then is it applying to the entire length i click yes and then i'm i'm told to specify the distance so i just want to grade all the way out out of the property so i just click there and then i want to create grading by a grid and i want to do a slope of negative two a mile slope of negative two percent and our surface and our grading is is created so let me escape so we can click on this grading and we can go to object viewer to view it so that's our grading that's how it looks like and it's flowing uh away from away from this house we'll see that later so i can put this off for example i can go to layer turn off and i turn off that grading and here you can see the surface that was created again i click on the surface and right click and i go to to object viewer to view the surface there you go you see the surface that's our surface it was created when the grading happened all right so now also the surface we can give it a no display style we apply we click okay so now i want to replicate some sort of parking lot that looks like like this okay so i want to however do it automatically not to do it in the drafting mode so what do i do let me turn off this existing existing parking for now and i want to create my own so i'm done grading so i close the grading toolbar so i go to vehicle tracking up here and i and, and i go to the parking panel so here at the parking panel i want to create a new row and i want to use the british system because that is the system we were left with so i proceed and i click ok to the standard name here it's just the conversion between feet and metric so i just click ok 
and here is my is my toolbar for creating the the parking so what do we do we are prompted to select the start point so first before we select the first point we have to be okay with the settings here so i want a parking on one side and not both sides so here as you can see this is showing you the the layout of the parking so it can be done on this side and on the other side so i want it on one side and i want it even like this and then i want it on a straight line not terraced like this so i want it on the right only so i'll be drawing from here going up so i want it on the right of where i'm drawing so what do i do um i click here on right only and then i select at an angle because the other parking was at an angle and then i can start putting the or creating the the parking but before i do that here as you can see i can add a footpath on this side but for our parking it didn't have a, a footpath and then i can change the standard from from the base style from the standard method to for, to one for the disabled so currently i want to do for the for the standard and i can start so i click on the first portion and then i click on the on the second portion and as you can see i can escape here we, we have a parking but i wanted to have more parkings so i can i can play around with these scripts and as you can see we have more parkings here and i can do that again for this upper part i can create a new row the same standard that we used proceed click okay and then i do for the right one only select the bay alignment there i do a 30 degree and i do a standard one and i'm prompted to start so i start from here again i can put on or snap i start from there and i take it all the way there all right and i can again add more parkings there and these are the islands which are being created let me create one final one i put it on the right and then i do a standard one and i start here i have my osnop set on i do it all the way to the end there and here i can add some there so here i want to add one for the disabled so let's see if we can do that proceed click okay sorry where did i go so click on the right and then here uh, i'm okay with 90 degree so i click one here for the disabled and i start from there so that was not enough space to create a parking so let me delete this first create a new row proceed let's do a 30 that we had and let's now do it for the disabled and i'm prompted to start so let me start from here and end there as you can see it's for the disabled so let's add let's see whether we can add another one yeah so we have two parkings there for the disabled now let's test whether let's test whether the water drop if rain falls here whether it will move away from from the parking so i go to analyze tab and i click on flow paths and they do a water drop um we can do a layer that we'll see and then place a marker on the start 
that's okay then you do a 2d polyline to show us how how the water is flowing so i click okay and i drop a piece a drop of water there and it's showing us this is the start marker and it's flowing away as you can see it's flowing away from our from our site simply because we graded our site first and we are able now to drain our site properly and our parking is also well well drained so that's how you do a parking layout very simply and that's how you also drain it quite simply so if you like this video do not forget to like and to subscribe